Our tight-knit production team has been globetrotting around the world for several years. And as seasoned travelers and storytellers, we know when we've landed a choice filming location. Picturesque chateaus, fabulous champagne, candy and cheese, and welcoming locals. We were really looking forward to filming in France. But as any good traveler knows, no trip goes exactly as planned. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Especially a film shoot. Oh, but you know, that is hot. <laughs> strong. <laughs> Here's a behind the scenes look at what it took to film along France's Western Front. From underground battle sites to champagne cellars. We filmed in a lot of places which were just plain dark. Not optimal lighting for filming, meaning getting creative with lights was a definite must. Our photographer, Greg Barna, who has won several Daytime Emmy Awards for his work on our series and is a perfectionist, spent a lot of time on lighting, making sure everything was just so. Of course, there were perks to spending lots of time in those cellars. Because we film with one main camera, but we try to make it look like two or three, sometimes we have to make our on-camera locals do things again, which isn't always easy. Totally different. I really love all of them, in fact. Just give me a mmm. Mmm. Good one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna have a nice dish. And among all the stuff we have, we have the famous Kiss Florent here. Okay. Okay. This looks great. A single camera yes. shoot requires it several is. retakes. So in France, we drank a lot of champagne. Yes. But as Vitale Tatage says, Champagne is part of the old day. You can wake up and have it for breakfast. Lots of really good food was definitely offset by the many activities we tried in order to make exploring historical sites even more interesting, like biking at Verdun. <laughs> I can't get up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it. <laughs> Maybe I had a few too many pastries. One of the challenges of traveling in general, but especially when producing a TV series, is pronouncing words in different languages. And I keep hearing about this zook. What is that? Zook. 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 One trick of the trade is to make sure to get locals to state both their name and some local slang on camera for you. Good thing the locals in France were there to help me out. Say the full name again. Jean-Paul de Vries. De Vries? De Vries. Jean-Paul de Vries. First and last name. First and, and last can, name. Yeah, you can give me your title here if you would like to as well. Let's see. First of all, in French, it's Constant Le Bastard. In English, Constant Le Bastard. <laughs> okay, go back. <laughs> do, do it one more time just so I do both versions. Because I might try to do the French version, but we'll see. Okay. Go ahead. Constant Le Bastard. Constant Le Bastard. It's hard. Constant <laughs> Le Bastard. <laughs> Chad Webb. The newest member of our team, Chad Davis, often has issues with being in Greg's way. I want to, I want to shoot Chad yeah. in my shot. This is the unknown, this is the unknown photographer. And this shoot was no exception. Except as the shoot wore on, Chad got more and more bold in being in the way. Chad, I see you. As usual. Yes, let's see how many times you can spot Chad. Parents had a family, maybe. A little more walking? Okay, I didn't Chad, know Chad. Stop. I, I didn't know if Chad was in it. <laughs> he was. Chad did a bob and weave. He jumped in the shot and then ran out. <laughs> He had to do it. Chad. 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 The most heartwarming and unexpected part of the trip was coming upon a group of school kids who were singing at the Moose Argonne American Cemetery.
And though we were only able to fit singing the French national anthem into an episode, they also sang the Star Spangled Banner for us. And they weren't the only French citizens we met that showed gratitude for the American soldiers who fought and died in World War I. And in fact, all these men came from all over the, the states and came here in France about uh, 2,000, 3,000 miles from home uh, to fight for liberty. Young guys, you know, they were 18, 19 years old, uh, coming from far away. They had nothing to do with our war. I think we're still very thankful to them. Even today is about 100 years after that they came over to, um, to give us freedom here. Which made our trip to France to uncover those modern destinations where the Great War's history is still at the forefront, personal. And makes the experience of sharing it with you so worthwhile.